Hi, so um, this week I wanted to talk about something that a couple of people have asked me to talk about. Oh dear, I just dropped something on the floor. back now? Nope. Um, yeah, a couple of people have asked me to talk about it and so I'm going to and I've cut my hair. So yeah, I now have very little hair. My mum did it so yeah, we're gonna see how this goes. It's much more healthy now though so life goes on. So this week I'm gonna talk about my time and my experience and just a couple of stories from when I was in Billy. So I had auditioned for Billy several times when I was a kid um, and not got in and then this time that I decided to do it I just had some bad news about not getting something else my mum was like do you really want to do it like it like you might not get it so like do you want to be upset again and I was like yeah yeah I really want to do it and thank god I did because I got it that time so that was uh, in 2000 I started in 2010 um, I was in it for a year um, and it was, obviously that's like 11 years ago now, God. Um, so I don't remember masses about it, but there are like bits and pieces that I remember and obviously I've got photos and stuff. Well, not loads of photos because we weren't allowed off phones backstage. I mean, I was 10, I don't think I even had a phone. Oh no, I did have a phone, but it was like a flip, dodgy phone. Um, but I've got three, two stories from rehearsals and one story from the show that I'm going to talk about, although I might think of more as the video goes on. On the way to one of those rehearsals, I had my phone, this is why I remembered I had a phone, um, and it also had like, it was in a phone case or a DS case or something, I think it was in a Nintendo DS case that had my phone in it and it had some DS games. And on the tube, on the way, it got stolen. And I was devastated and I hadn't even gone to rehearsals with my mum, I'd gone with a friend's mum because we like lived near each other so our parents would share the journeys um, and I was literally like heartbroken, it was, it, was, it was a hard time, 10 year old me was struggling um, but now stories from actually being in the show, I mean it's all just like there's bits and pieces and at some points I'm like what, what actually happened and what didn't um, but I remember that we, so there was this one big changing room, I remember that in my second run I was next to my friend Lucy, um, who I still speak to sometimes now, which is really cool. Um, we had this big dressing room and at the end of the show, um, I, and I guess probably other people, but for me, it was like some massive race of how quickly you can get out of the place. Um, so as we were like coming up the stairs from the bows, we'd be, I'd be like half beginning to take off my costume so, and everything when I got to my dressing room table, everything would be set out so I could strip and throw my stuff in the wash and put my clothes on so I could be the first out. That clearly was the beginning of my competitive streak. Um, but yeah, I remember that really vividly and I remember our dressing room was up loads of stairs. So that was fun. Um, I also remember on my very last night in the show, um, I got a nosebleed and it was right before the finale and I have nosebleeds fairly often, it's not like a massive thing for me, um, but I just wasn't expecting it and I managed to get a bit of blood on my tutu um, and they're white tutus so wasn't easy to hide and they were like no no you can't go on for the finale like you can't go on like that and I was like this is my last show you cannot stop me I will be doing this um and they did but I remember like the absolute stress of them being like you can't do it and me being like this is my very last time to do it so I've got to um oh and I've got another story actually um so if any of you have seen Billy or seen the film or just know anything about it really, um, there's the number called Shine, it starts in like a 
a dance class and we're just wearing our tutus with a t-shirt over like as if we were in a lesson and then halfway through we go off and I think it's like a minute we have to get changed into like our costumes which are like pink leotards um, and then we come on with like feathers and do the second half of the dance and because it's so quick our pink leotards are underneath the white leotards and the white tutus so that we just go off and like they're underneath we just put a couple of things on and we're done um, but because we have mics, because we sing a little bit, um, you put your mic on before, and before all of that. So, when you put your mic on, you have to be careful that it's not, like, tangled into the white tutu, otherwise you can't get the white tutu off. And it just so happened that twice, I and the mic person had managed to get the mic twisted around my white tutu, and then it goes in through your hair to here, so... You, there's nothing you can do about it. Um, and so I couldn't get my white tutu off, so then I wasn't able to go on for the second half of the dance, which was just mental. And I know from experience that actually that's happened to a couple of other people. In my time in Billy, it happened twice, and both of those two times, my mum was watching. And that to me is just crazy, because my I mean, my mum watched a fair few times, because like lots of times she'd um, come to take me. So then, if she could get a cheap seat, she might as well, otherwise she's just going to sit around and wait. She didn't watch that often, and that happened to managed to happen twice. And she was there both of the times, which to me is just crazy. But yeah, it was an amazing experience, and I've got friends that I made from life, for life even. Um, and I honestly, like, I can't believe that happened, really. Imagine, like, I, I mean, even if nothing works out for me now. I made my West End debut at age 10. Um, but yeah, it was just like for a year, twice a week, um, we I'd go up to London if it was a matinee. So Saturdays and Thursdays were matinees. So on Thursday, I'd get to leave school early and I'd go up and do the two shows on a Thursday. And yeah, it was just fun. And I, at the time, like there were the 10 girls in my team and you were spending so much time with each other that you made some really good friendships there. And yeah, I still talk to some of those girls, and it's just, it's, it's a wild experience, and I can't believe it happened, honestly. Um, so yeah, I'll put in the one photo that I know I definitely have, here. Um, and yeah, feel free to ask me any questions you have about Billy, um, either on Instagram messages or anything really, uh, you can put it in the comments here. Um, but yeah, thank you for whoever asked me to talk about that. I um, enjoyed having to think back through some of those stories. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe, like, comment, do all the stuff. And I'll see you next time.